What is going on guys? Joey Suggs here with the infamous GoPro on my head. And that can only mean one thing. That's right, I have a grocery haul video for you today. We're actually in front of the grocery store right now. Today's gonna be a little different. I've been seeing some comments on previous grocery haul videos. Joey, you spend so much money at the grocery store. Joey, why are you only buying the most expensive things? So today, I'm gonna show you the bare bone basics that I would buy whenever I just want to get by meal prep style, like eat the same thing roughly every day, but still have a little bit of fun with it. Spice things up when you can. But what I'm gonna do is take you a POV mode into the store with me show you all the things i buy break down the cost then go home cook the meals that i plan on eating throughout the week with the things that i buy show you the calorie breakdown of that and roughly the cost breakdown of that so you can get a good idea of how much you're spending per meal when you're making food at home so hopefully this will be a good informative video for you if you can do me a huge favor right now hit that thumbs up button down below because this video is one super embarrassing because i'm going to the grocery store uh with a gopro strap to my noggin and two it does help the video get out to more people so i appreciate that without further ado let's get on in there and get shopping all right now obviously we gotta get chicken right so let's see twenty dollars for one two three four five six chicken breast at 3.99 a pound that's really not bad at all for chicken and this will make plenty of meals for us. Also, if you wanna get a little more fat, also a little cheaper as well, you can get boneless, thinless, skinless chicken thighs, really good as well, $7.99 for one, two, three, four, five, six thighs. And just for sake of comparison, typically this is the chicken breast that I would buy at $4.99 a pound, so you are saving just a little bit of money there as well. All right, so when it comes to ground meat, ground beef specifically, it seems like no matter whether you're getting the 93.7 or just the normal sirloin, it's $6.99 a pound. So I always go for the leanest possible, which in this case will be the 93.7. Ground turkey, on the other hand, I guess is a little different. So it looks like the price per pound is $6.29 for the lean and $4.69 for the higher fat. But I always like to get the leanest possible. So I'm gonna spend a little bit of extra money to get that. All right, so when you're looking at your carb sources, rice specifically, always gonna be cheaper to make your own rice. So my favorite rice is jasmine rice. This bag right here is $4 and has like 20 servings of 160 calorie servings. Compare that to this bag right here that's 230 and has one serving in it. So you get so much more bang for your buck whenever you cook it yourself. Okay, so a super healthy and overlooked item that people kind of just walk by are like canned items. So like these fire roasted tomatoes, right now they're buy one get one free, so that helps a lot too, but they're only $1.50 even when they're not on sale. The entire container only has 50 calories and they add so much flavor to when you're cooking something like all together in a pan. So I'm gonna grab both of these as well. Also a can of black beans. This right here is only a dollar for the entire can and we're gonna make a good recipe with it. Okay, so something that I've found that really makes a difference, one in calories and two in price, is substituting something like granola. All those granolas are pretty, pretty healthy. It's still $6 for this small bag granola, when what you could do is grab your favorite cereal, cereal something like this pumpkin spice Cheerio. Definitely wanna try this out. Also like five bucks, but for the entire container, which is much, much more and you can use this as granola as well. And this also happens to people I buy one get one free, so I'm gonna pick up two of these boxes. So with these two boxes for five bucks, that's an absolute go-to. All right, now we just keep getting lucky with these buy one get ones that are going on right now, but Dandelite and Fit yogurt, one of my favorite yogurts, it's buy one get one free, but it's $6 for the entire container, which is pretty nice. And you end up getting five servings right here, which works out better than buying these little single servings. So if you're gonna, use yogurt all the time it's better just to get the bigger container all right so sadly i am a pretty big fan of frozen veggies but you got to know which ones to buy and which ones are worth it in my opinion though one of the best is just a bag of literally mixed veg you get pretty much everything you could ever want and need in there and this bag right here is right at four dollars fifty cents so that's not bad for a pretty big bag all right another go-to breakfast item is obviously going to be your oatmeal Super easy, but getting packets, one, you add a lot of extra calories, but if you just get the normal box, this box is pretty much 450 and it has 13 servings, so that's actually not bad at all. We're gonna pick up 
this. And I also like getting the one minute quick oats instead of like the steel cut is one more money, but also just takes longer to cook in the microwave too. All right, so when it comes to milk, I have my nut milk that I prefer, which is actually this silk cashew milk. 25 calories per serving is really good. It is $5.40 per container, which is really expensive. So we're gonna stay away from that today and go for what I normally have been drinking, which is this fat-free milk from Fairlife, 450, which is still pretty expensive, but for what I'm using it for, you're gonna get a lot of use out of this right here. All right, working into the produce section, two obvious choices have to be normal white russet potatoes and sweet potatoes. Um, they're both relatively the same price per pound and they're both really good carb sources. So normally I would spring for something like this small bag of potatoes, that's $5. But when you're trying to save money, this entire bag is $4 and is so much more potatoes. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of each of these, the white, and grab a couple of the sweet. All right, and although fresh fruit can be kind of expensive, one of the most voluminous things you're gonna get for the money has to be strawberries because you can slice them up and they can go in just about anything. I'm gonna get one pack of strawberries. Seems like they're about three or four bucks per container, which is not too bad, actually. All right, another great just veggie to throw in anything is got to be spinach. This one's kind of on sale, so I'm gonna grab two bags of baby spinach. All right, and a volume veggie that I just weirdly enjoy is Brussels sprouts. So these are $3 a bag. And honestly, I already have a lot of food, so I'm just gonna get one bag. All right, and one thing you're probably most definitely gonna need is some sort of sauce. Uh, you're not gonna obviously use a whole thing, but let's just buy this sweet and spicy, no sugar added sweet baby rays. Been really enjoying this sauce specifically recently, and it's like $3.50 for the whole bottle. All right, so we ended up under $100. That is pretty nice. <laughs> Don't mind me, just getting a thumbnail of all of this food for under 100 bucks. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with myself for this one. But this is just part one of the video showing you everything that I got. Now, let me show you some quick, easy recipes that you can make with this stuff. That's one, gonna save you a ton of time that you can kind of meal prep for later on in the week, and it's gonna still be delicious. All right, food all put away. I got my apron on now, and that means on to part two of this video, which means I'm gonna be showing you some awesome high protein, lower calorie recipes that you can use either as meal prep or just make them throughout the week using the items that I got at the grocery store. So I'm gonna go in order, starting with breakfast. Let's go over these awesome high protein overnight oats. All right, so first thing, the Quaker Quick Oats, then our Fairlife fat-free milk. Now, the transparent lab protein, I know we didn't get at the grocery store, but I'll explain the price of that in just a second. Some of the Dan Light and Fit Greek yogurt, and then strawberries as well. All right, so you can go ahead and grab some sort of bowl. And this entire container has 13 servings of 40 grams. We're gonna do 60 grams in the bowl. Now, for our milk and protein, you can pour them just in here like this, but I'm gonna use a shaker cup and then pour it in after. So one serving of the Fairlife milk is about 240 milliliters. We're gonna do about half that, so 140 milliliters or grams. And for our transparent labs protein, there's 30 servings in here, and that's like a $1.2 per serving or something like that. So we're still well within our budget. And we're gonna do one full scoop of protein. All right, give that a quick stir and we can pour it over in our oatmeal. Now you could stop right here, but adding the Dan Light and Fit Greek yogurt really adds a really creamy, like tasty consistency. It's 100% worth it and it adds more protein as well. So as you can see, we have five servings of 170 grams. We're only gonna use like 50, maybe 100 grams tops. Yeah, so right at 80 grams is what I put in this one specifically. And we can just go ahead and stir that around a little bit. All right, so as you can tell, this is still pretty liquidy. That's the point of doing them overnight is that the oats are gonna soak up the water overnight and you'll be left with a nice creamy consistency in the morning time. All right, now for our strawberries. So you can chop them up however you like. I kinda like doing slices. And I'm just gonna do about 80 grams of strawberries. Bada bing, bada boom, give that a quick stir and you are good to go. You can make like five or six of these at one time and have them for the entire week. Really such a good recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead, put a lid on this and toss it in the fridge. And about eight hours later, this is what you're left with. 
Sadly, I can't eat it right this second, but I do wanna talk about the calories, macros, and the cost breakdown really quickly. So with everything in, we're sitting at right about 500 calories and right at 50 grams of protein. That is a very, very solid way to start your morning. 50 grams of protein, 500 calories, not to mention how filling, and you're actually eating like whole foods as well. Couldn't ask for a better way to start your day. As far as the cost goes, this is a rough breakdown, but according to my receipt and some notes I found on my phone and serving sizes and everything else, your protein, like I said, about $54 after the code. There's 30 servings in there, let's say roughly $2 a serving, right? Then you have your oatmeal. It's $5 for the entire thing. There's 13 servings in there. We did one and a half servings, so it comes out to like 60 cents. We'll just round up, say a dollar. The yogurt, we used about a third of one serving, so let's just say 50 cents. Uh, the milk, we used barely any of that, about a half of a serving, um, but we'll say a dollar there as well. And then the strawberries, we used about maybe one serving of that. That brings the total out to right around $5. That is not bad at all. $5 for that massive breakfast right there, that's gonna leave you full, satiated, and just happy in general. I don't know if you can beat that. Mm, just kidding, you can't beat that with the lunch recipe. Let's get straight into that one right now. All right, now for lunch, we're gonna be using the chicken thighs that we got, as well as that sweet baby Ray's sauce. Uh, and then we're not gonna use all of them, but we're gonna use two of the normal potatoes and two of the sweet potatoes and the bag of Brussels sprouts. So that's pretty much everything you're gonna need. Let's get into cooking it. All right, so simple here, all I'm gonna do is chop them up and for your sake, I don't want you to have me watch to do this, so. Many gruesome slices later, this is what we are left with. I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer them into a bowl. I'm gonna use a little bit of some Pam spray and a little bit of some Kinder seasoning. All right, give them a quick toss. And here is what you're left with. Now you can either cook these in the air fryer or the oven. Uh, I'm gonna go air fryer tonight just because I like the way they turn out a little better. But if you don't have an air fryer, an oven will work as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my air fryer for about 25 minutes on 375. All right, and the Brussels, sadly for me, follow the exact same recipe. So we're gonna chop them and cut them in half. So just, all right, same thing here. We are done. Once again, quick spray and a quick season. Uh, these can either go in the air fryer or oven as well. I'm gonna choose the air fryer, 350 for about 25 minutes. All right, and we are back to the cutting board one more time for these beautiful slices of meat. Now, I don't know about you, but I always like to clean my thighs up a little bit before I cook them. So I'm gonna trim a little bit of the excess fat on the pieces and then cut them into chunks and the end result looks something like this. All right, so all chopped up, so much tasty goodness thighs up in here. I'm gonna hit this with a little barbecue seasoning as well. This is actually sugar-free barbecue seasoning. And it's gonna go straight into the pan on medium-high heat and cook each side for about three or so minutes. All right, and while our chicken cooks, check out the potatoes that just got done. Oh, I just fogged the lens. Maybe that's a little better but came out very, very good. Both the sweet potatoes and the normal potatoes, perfect. And the Brussels sprouts done as well. Um, I might have overcooked these just a little bit, but they still turned out pretty good in my opinion. All right, now when your chicken is cooked all the way throughout, you can go ahead and reduce that heat to low or even off if you want to and add the secret ingredient, AKA the sweet baby rays. There's 16 servings total in this. I'm probably gonna do about four servings, maybe max. I'm just gonna drizzle it around and just lightly toss the chicken in the sauce. All right, do me a favor and tell me if you've ever seen anything more beautiful than what's in this pan. All right, so I'm gonna have one of these servings tonight for dinner, but for the other three, we can go ahead and meal prep those right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your four servings of that right there. These three will be put up. This is what we're about to eat right now. All right, ready? Cheers. And it cooked all the way. Feels a little squishy. It's thighs. It's pretty good. It's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's really oh good. God. The combination of sweet potatoes and white potatoes together is actually really, really nice, and I like the combination. The flavors and the consistencies go so well together. Here is how the chicken is looking. Like I said, crisped up very nicely. Then you toss it in the sauce to end things off and you just get a beautiful glaze over top. 
The Brussels sprouts, like I said, maybe a little overdone, but um, I don't know. Brussels sprouts are, are hit or miss with most people. I really enjoy them in the air fryer and they're like a pretty big volume eating vegetable. So they're really good for meal prep as well, except when you heat them up in the microwave, like at school or work or something and everyone gets pissed at you because it smells like literal booty hole. But tastes good going down. All right, let me quickly go over the rough pricing, what you would expect to pay per meal out of the four servings here. So we, have, we had our chicken thighs, about $8 cost there. The sweet potatoes were $3 and also the potatoes were $3, but we only used about a third of each, but whatever. The Brussels sprouts were $3. The sauce is four bucks for 14 servings. Let's just say a dollar we used. Um, that comes out to about $18. When you divide that by four, we're sitting roughly somewhere like $4-ish. You're not gonna find a meal with this much protein with this well balanced and for $4. Well, I started calculating the macros and uh, finished the entire plate. But speaking of the macros, really solid actually. So the entire thing has uh, about 2,200 calories. But when we make that into four different servings, each serving comes out to right about 550 calories, 52 grams of protein and fats and carbs evenly distributed out. Actually one of the most balanced meals I think you could possibly make. All around a banger recipe, a little difficult to make, a little time consuming to make, but 100,000% worth it. Now, down to dinner time and uh, the dinner recipe might be my all time favorite. All right, so here's everything we're gonna need for dinner. We're gonna use both the pounds of ground meat, the ground turkey and the ground beef our can of black beans, as well as the Rotel tomatoes. I think I'm gonna use both cans actually. Then some of the jasmine rice and finish things off with baby spinach. First step is actually going to be to make your rice beforehand. I'm cooking mine in a rice cooker, but you can really cook yours however you like. You're gonna to wanna to do about five servings of rice. For me, that works out to be about 225 grams. So I'm just gonna put that in the rice cooker, set it on cook, and my rice cooker takes about 20 minutes or so to cook that up. Now, while our rice cooks over a high to medium heat pan, we can add both our ground meat. Cook my ground turkey and ground beef together and just mix it up thoroughly as they both brown. And just a few minutes later, you can see this is all nice and browned up. Next step, we're just going to reduce the heat to about medium to low and start adding all of our ingredients. So first we'll go ahead and add the Rotel diced peppers. Make sure that you strain the can before you put them in there because if not, they're gonna be super liquidy and it's just gonna make your overall mixture super liquidy, which is not what you want. And without wasting any time at all, we can go ahead and add our black beans in there as well. Same thing here, you wanna make sure you strain it before you put it into your mixture. Now, simply go ahead, stir this all around and let this simmer together for a few minutes while your rice finishes up. And a few minutes later, our rice is finished and it turned out beautiful. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it into the mixture. Just for reference, I'm pretty sure this is like a 12 inch skillet and it is full to the brim now of our sauce. So same thing here as your rice goes in, just go ahead, mix everything around. The last step has to do with the spinach and this can be your choice. You can either make like a salad bed with it or you can put it in the mixture and it kind of wilts and mixes all in. I think I'm gonna go with the wilting for this recipe tonight. Kind of chop it up with my hands, tear it apart a couple times and then toss it into the mixture and mix that all around. So while I'm mixing the spinach in, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn the heat off. It's plenty hot to melt the spinach and finish off the recipe. And here you go, five beautiful meals. The smell of this is absolutely outrageous. Cannot wait to dive in. In fact, let's just eat one of these right now. Okay, absolutely crazy. I wanna dive on in. I know just by the smell that it's going to taste absolutely insanely delicious. It's also gonna be really hot judging by that. Let's get a bite. Oh man, mm. it's so well balanced. I was thinking that it's not gonna have enough flavor, 
but I think the Rotel really comes through that fire roasted flavor comes through very nicely in this. Oh wow, that is really, really good. And like really, really easy to make too. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy. So let me quickly go over one, the pricing of this. All right, so we had our ground turkey, I think about $6. The ground beef was a little more expensive at like eight bucks. Then the one can of black beans for $1. The jabs and rice, I uh, had to do a little extra math, but it was like four bucks, 20 servings. We used about five servings, roughly, let's say a dollar. The Rotel dip, we used both cans for about $2 and the spinach was, we only used one bag that was about three bucks, which is expensive for spinach. Roughly that sits us somewhere around like four bucks per serving. That is really, really good. And we got five servings out of it. That is incredible. So from a value perspective, all of these meals have been under $5, which is awesome. You're not gonna find that anywhere else. Now on a macro perspective, this is actually crazy too. All right, so the entire mixture combined is like 2,400 something calories but that's not really what we're worried about. Let's see what it is per serving is only 490 calories with about 51 grams of protein. I mean, under 500 calories, over 50 grams of protein, you get five meals. Why would anyone not be doing this? But the only thing that can make me more excited to eat this is well, finishing it so I can get on to my favorite part of any day slash night, which is the dessert. All right, and for dessert, we're gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna be using some of the Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt again. Once again, the Transparent Labs Vanilla Peanut Butter Protein. Switching things up with the Pumpkin Spice Cheerios, the limited edition, sorry if it's past pumpkin season, and a couple fresh strawberries. All right, now like I said, we're gonna keep it nice and simple for this recipe. We're gonna grab a bowl, and in that bowl, we're gonna add about two servings or 340 grams of yogurt. Now the yogurt's already really high protein, but adding the Transparent Labs protein, we're also getting a little more thickness and a little more flavor into the mix. And for this, I like to do just a right about a half a scoop. Next, go ahead, just mix this until it's completely combined. All right, a few stirs later, we can go ahead and add our toppings, which is gonna be these Cheerios. I'm gonna do one full serving, which comes out to about 36 grams. All right, and lastly, we can add our strawberries. I just sliced mine up, because that's the way I like to eat my strawberries. Also, I was aiming for 100 gram strawberries, ended up 99.7. And this is what you're left with, a gorgeous, massive bowl of dessert. All right, cannot think of a better way to end my night. This is a beautiful creation, pretty much a piece of art. You just get a little bit of everything. You get every type of flavor, you get every type of consistency and it all just blends so perfectly in this mixture right here. 100%, you eat this, you're gonna be going to bed full, happy, and no cravings at all. And the cereal hack instead of granola, I honestly like it better than granola because you get more crunch and more volume for like so many less calories. And speaking of the calories, in this bowl right here, an absolutely massive bowl. We're sitting at, once again, under 500, 433 calories, 45 grams of protein. So like I said, really good on the macro front as far as the cost goes. So once again, very rough, but the yogurt was six bucks, even though we got two for $6 technically, and we did about two servings of that. So I don't know, roughly like $2. The protein, we only did a half serving of that, so that's about a dollar. The cereal was really only 250 since it was buy one, get one free per box, but whatever. Either way, about like, let's just say a dollar per serving there. And then the strawberries, we'll add another dollar for that. Roughly right around $5. So all of these meals have been under $5 per meal, have been right around 500 calories per meal with right around 50 grams of protein per meal absolutely insane this is the only meal that i think would be kind of difficult to meal prep the other ones are literally meal prep recipes okay now just for kind of shits and giggles i wanted to see if you had this exact same meal lineup for your day-to-day -day. if you went to the grocery store you bought exactly the same things i did came home and made exactly the same thing i did and you ate everything in line in that day what would your total calories macros everything look like for the day I did not plan this, but it's like perfect. <laughs> so meal one, the 500 calories, the overnight oats. Meal two, the chicken thighs. Meal three, the dinner uh, with all the ground meats and rice and everything like that. Then meal four will be the dessert right here. That leaves you with 1,900 
and 68 calories. Under 2000 calories and when we pop into the macros, almost exactly 200 grams of protein with even fats and carbs as well. I don't know about for you, but for a budget grocery haul plus recipes, plus they just end up being the perfect full day eating, you can't ask for a better video than that and I think you better give me a thumbs up for this one. If you enjoyed this video, uh, let me know in the comments down below. It's kind of like a fun challenge to me to like find new recipes and like budget hauls and stuff. So I enjoyed making it. Um, if you wanna see more, leave a comment down below. Make sure to share this with your friends, family, anyone you think get some use out of it. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed and I will be seeing you once again shortly in the next one. Peace.